Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and welcome to Our Irish Family. So today I want to go over with you some stuff that is happening, um, especially um, it's more of a toddler update than anything else. Um, so if you are interested in hearing about Ava, about her speech, if we're going to send her to school, um, her everything situation, um, please do stay tuned. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to let you know that I have some new blog posts. I finally, finally have up my five eco-friendly swaps. So these are simple, easy things that you can do straight away and they are budget friendly and they make such an impact on reducing your plastic waste. It is something that I have, um, that I am trying to do is reduce our plastic waste. Um, so I'd love if you go over to my blog and check that out. Um, I will have that linked in the description along with a couple of other blog posts that I think may interest you guys. Um, so today, as I was saying, I want to go over um, a toddler update, I suppose. Ava um, turned two in March, and if you have been um, watching my videos for a while, you'll know that she does have a speech delay. We've been to see a doctor, and we are currently on a waiting list to go and see a speech therapist. Um, I have no idea how long that list is. Um, I've no idea about anything got to do with it and um, so we're just kind of ticking along ourselves um, and trying to um, get her speech brought on a little bit more ourselves um, and realistically that is going okay she now says a lot more words um, than she used to she's more much more vocal and um, a lot of time it's still not really making sense it's no it's not really proper words um but then she does um say the odd word like and if i ask her to say words she will say them because i know she can say like a lot of words like sky couch chair table sink um spoon like she can she can name a lot of things and she's getting to the stage now where she can um she can say like red blue purple black white yellow um, but she just doesn't know that that chair is red so we constantly are doing that now we're pointing out stuff we have a book that we always always use with her and um, we actually have two of books like this so this is animals and then there's another one i forget the name of it but they've like real life pictures um of the the animals on the inside so we go through point them out and um, I try and get her to repeat them after me um, and she is a lot more open to that than she used to be which is great and um, because before that if I was just trying to get her to repeat the word after me and um, she would have a tantrum and um, she wouldn't be interested in it she'd get really frustrated with us and um, so this book and the other one I think it's just called words possibly um yeah my first words um I will have them linked. I bought them on a website called Book Depository and I have an affiliate link for that. Um, so if you do purchase any books at all from that website through my link, I will get a little bit of like commission back from it. Um, but I love that website. It's free shipping um, worldwide and um, they actually sometimes work out cheaper than Amazon as well. So this, my first animals, and we also have my first words, and it's really, really been helping her. And the real life pictures have been so helpful. A lady on my Instagram sent me a message and said that she uses this with her child. Um, so on that recommendation, I bought it from Book Depository, and we have really been enjoying it. And Ava has like seen that they're real life pictures, not cartoony pictures. So we go through that book, we point out every single place we go, we point out, I make her say and repeat words after me. Um, so we are coming on a lot and she will, she is sometimes trying to place two words together in a sentence, um, like bubbles please. So she's obsessed with bubbles. Um, so I've started to say, um, say please obviously and then she'll say please um and then i'll say say bubbles please um so we're working on getting two words together um but she has come on so so much um, and also we have made the decision um to send her to play school or nursery or preschool um so ava will be turning two and a half in 
September 22nd and the play school that I'm going to has a restriction that she needs to be two years six months old before they can take her off for insurances purposes and um, so we the way I do a little bit of a backstory in Ireland here we get free preschool years and um, so because of Ava's date of birth so she was born on the 22nd of March 2016 um, her free preschool year doesn't start until September 2019. But there's such a demand for these places um, and so many play schools, nurseries, Montessoris do these. Um, so I um, applied to a couple in my area near my house and um, or near my apartment and a couple came back saying that their wait list is full or their, their list is full, they're on a waiting list now but it's not, you know, it's not, um guaranteed that she'll get a place um, and then i contacted this other lady on a recommendation from a friend like a friend of a friend type thing and um, her kids go there and they love it so um, i contacted her and she's like yeah you know we do have a couple of places left and um, do you want to come out and visit it so it's like five six maybe like a 10 minute walk um from us and um, so myself and Robert and Ava went one morning um, before they finished for summer. So it would have been June, early June, I think it was. Um, and we went in and Ava just strolled in, strolled over, start playing with the kids outside. They have like outside play area. Um, it's more of a play, learn through play um, system. I'm not quite sure. They have a name on that, but it's not, I'm not quite sure they follow the lead of the child and um, they do obviously set up activities that they can do as a group and um, but she said that she's not really too strict on it um you know that if the child wants to do something else in that moment there is just like like loads of different areas set up within her room and there's like arts and crafts there's like imagination a quiet corner a reading corner um like building and then outside she said that they are outside all the time they have like a outside kitchen a mud kitchen um climbing frames little everything everything you could think of um is there so i was so impressed with the place and then ava just did not want to leave we were there for 45 minutes ava didn't want to leave so we came home and we discussed it because because her free year isn't until september 2019 um we're gonna to have to pay for it and as you guys know if you've been following us for a while and um, robert is the only person that works here i don't work i stay at home with ava um so we came to the decision to send her two times per week on a tuesday and a thursday starting in october and um, so i think she is going to love it she is so into wanting to play with kids now and um, before she used to you know cling to me if there was other little kids around but right now if there's other little kids at all Ava's running over saying hello waving at them pointing at them getting wanting to chase them um, and play games with them you know so I think she is going to love it well I I'm hoping she's going to love it so we'll see when October comes around um if she enjoys it but I'm really really hoping that she does and I'm hoping that being in a group situation like that with other little kids that her speech comes along as well um because right now we have one girl um that has a child the same age and her child is starting preschool um on Monday and also I have one friend with a child that's the same age as Ava um but um we don't see them very often you know so and the rest of our our group have babies like little babies and um, so there's nobody her age to play with she's the only grandchild on my side of the family and robert's side of the family so she's spoiled she has all the attention of the adults and um, so there's not really any children's interaction so i'm hoping going to play school um will help all of that and then um we are also trying to potty train her we my, michelle robert's sister bought us this book she again she bought this on book depository um so no more nappies it's called it's a potty training book um and it's like you can lift the flap pull down his pants um, it's actually really really good Ava really enjoys this so we have her potty and we always um 
when she's on it we're reading this book true and saying that you know it's okay to go to the potty and stuff but i think what i'm going to do um somebody on instagram sent me a um a book like a pdf of a book and I read through it and I'm pretty impressed with it. It's like um, a three day training thing. And I do think Ava is um, ready to be potty trained. She's definitely showing the signs of it. Um, it's just that she seems a little bit scared of actually going to the potty. So we've been working on it a lot this week as per the book suggests that up to it you kind of work and show her things and talk about it and all that sort of stuff. And um, so I'm hoping that um, next week I am going to be able to um, do three days straight. It basically recommends that you stay in for all of those three days and um, you don't venture out because you need to be consistent with her and you know build her up and stuff. So anyways, I'm going to try that next week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm hoping that it's gonna work. Um, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know. Um, you know, it's not the be all and end all. She doesn't need to be potty trained to go to play school. Um, the play school is okay with changing nappies. Um, but I just think she's more than ready for it. Um, so that's something else that we're working on with her. Um, she is now in her own room. Well, she's been in her own room since she was like six months old. Um, but her room is pretty much complete. Um, Robert this weekend is just gonna put up some bookshelves um, and a shelf for me to hang some pictures. And we have a couple more like decals that I'm gonna put on the wall. And then hopefully next week I should be able to show you um, her toddler room. She has the sides gone off her bed. Um, we do have a bed rail because I'm convinced that she's going to like roll out of it and stuff. I could put something on the ground, I suppose. But right now we're, we're leaving the um, the bed rail on it. She sleeps so well now. She sleeps until like seven, half seven, which is amazing because before we took off the side and put on the bed rail, she was waking up at six, half five, between five and six every morning um so i don't know what's the difference the difference the only difference i can see is that she's um the bed rail is gone her napping is pretty much the same although she is now um fighting her naps a lot more so i'm kind of wondering if we're going to be phasing them out i'm going to follow her lead like i do with all of these things when i was feeding her with the bottles and stuff like i followed her lead if she wanted to drop a feed i'd do that the same with her naps she had three naps then two naps now one nap and if she wants to drop her nap she wants to drop her nap i'm going to follow her lead and see how it goes and um, i'm not going to try and force it on her so I think that is everything from my update. If you have any questions that you want to know, please do um, leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Again, I do have a blog for you to check out, Our Irish Family, and I have Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook page, and I'd love if you join me on there, especially Twitter. I love Twitter. I'm loving Twitter, should I say. I kind of tweet just random things throughout the day, um, but I'm really, really enjoying that platform. Um, so that's it guys and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!